fuck do you want? Sir, we have an app. So, what does this app do? It means we'll be able to loosen social distancing restrictions so that people can go to restaurants. What's wrong with delivery? I believe that's been working. I like delivery. The guy rings the bell, you cough loudly and tell him to get the fuck away from you, he leaves without a tip, and then you eat at home with no pants on. Well, some fancy restaurants don't do delivery. You know, like some pants required, my kitchen rules, Pete Evans type stuff. What the fuck is that with Pete Evans' teeth? Uh, they're so white. Uh, when he smiles, it's like staring at the fucking sun. Uh, are they teeth or bloody BMW headlights? Uh, and isn't he that dodgy fucker selling a $15,000 light that makes sounds that are supposed to cure diseases and stuff? Cures anything but buyer's remorse, I believe. I like it better when the only celebrity chef was the one from the Muppets. Uh, no eyes, two moustaches, weird hands. Uh, what a fucking genius. Uh, but how easy is this app to use? I mean, people over 70 are most at risk uh, from coronavirus. Will they be able to use it? All they have to do is download the app. Fucking stop, stop right fucking there, right? You want old people to download an app to save their lives? I mean, fuck, most old people can't even use their phones as fucking phones. It's not their fault when they grew up, phones were attached to the wall and you had to fucking wind them up. And you want old people to download a fucking app to save their lives? You may as well fucking kill them yourself, you fucking idiot. Uh, I mean, why don't you just kick in the door of the nursing home with a machine gun and say, listen up, Martha, no one's going to fucking muffin break on the bus today. Fucking da 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 You just fucking killed my nana. Fuck. How does this fucking app help people go to restaurants? It stops you from getting COVID-19. How does it do that? Well, once you go near someone with the virus, it tells you you've got the virus and then tracks everyone that you gave the virus to. Once I get it, uh, fucking, I thought it was supposed to stop me from getting it. Uh, why doesn't it beep if I go near someone with a virus or something? Oh wow, that is a good idea. But we're the government, we're not geniuses. We basically stole it from Singapore. So the app doesn't stop people from getting the fucking virus, it just tells them after they've got it. Uh, so instead of your phone going, Bing, oh, you've got a text message. Now it goes, Bing, you've got COVID-19, congratulations, fuckhead. I mean, won't having coronavirus be the giveaway that you've got fucking coronavirus? Well, some people are asymptomatic. Yeah, toddlers and dolphins, you fuckhead. To everyone else, it feels like being put in a sleeping bag with a fucking bunch of hot coals, ice cubes, and then being kicked in the chest by a fucking donkey. So what exactly is the point? We can track the spread more effectively. See, it works using Bluetooth technology. We Shut your dirty little fucking shit mouth right there, fuckstable cock twist. Bluetooth? Fucking Bluetooth? It either works or it uses Bluetooth, but it can't be fucking both. What? Bluetooth is the shittiest, least reliable fucking technology of all time. Have you ever had a successful Bluetooth connection? Well... Fuck up or die, shit snack. Bluetooth gargles chode. If you look into it, I'm pretty sure the fucking iceberg detectors on the Titanic were Bluetooth, the fire extinguishers on the fucking Hindenburg were Bluetooth, and I'm positive that September 11 was caused because Al-Qaeda were trying to pair their fucking Bluetooth with someone in the Twin Towers, right? I once spent an entire fucking weekend trying to pair a Bluetooth speaker, and it kept saying, can't find the device, make sure it's in range, and they were literally fucking touching. They were literally fucking touching. The only way they could have been closer is if they fucking grew up together and got matching fucking tattoos, right? Bluetooth is the technology equivalent of a lost child at a supermarket wandering up to everyone going, oh, are you my mummy? No, I'm not your fucking mum. I'm your neighbour's fucking Bluetooth speaker. Fuck off. What happened? I accidentally paired my phone with my old phone, my television, a passing car, my car, two people's smartwatches, and the iPad of someone on a fucking low-flying plane, right? And then I went out and bought a fucking cable. The point is, this app doesn't stop me from getting corona, and even if it did, it uses fucking Bluetooth. Blue fucking tooth. If we're relying on Bluetooth to save us, then we're all already fucked. It's like using essential oils to try and cure having your fucking head cut off. Bluetooth is Swedish. The same people who bought us IKEA, Volvo, and the chef from the Muppets. He was Swedish? I thought he was on ketamine. Uh, anyway, so now my fucking Nana's dead. I've caught coronavirus from some celebrity chef idiot. I can go home and cough and sweat my balls off. And because it uses Bluetooth fucking technology, I can watch porn on my phone and wonder why the fucking sound isn't working, only to discover it's playing on my neighbor's fucking Bluetooth speaker. Yes, but now Pete Evans also has the virus. Why didn't you say that before? Why didn't you just say we've invented an app that gives Pete Evans coronavirus? I mean, fuck, that sounds great. Uh, you know, cure that with a fucking lamp that vibrates, you smirking fuckface. Yes, g'day, it's Chopper here. Now, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to press like and subscribe. Catch you soon. Whee!